we honor the Clemente family who have traveled all the way here to Burlington for this great day. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask Roberto Clemente Jr. and Luis Clemente to come up and say a few words about their father. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, what a glorious day. I can sit here, stand here today, and say that I am defrosting from being in Pittsburgh <laughs> to start. I want to thank the Pittsburgh Pirates uh, Commissioner and everyone involved in this honoring our father today. Um, I didn't know, did I know that uh, Bradenton had uh, Mr. Holmgren, Coach Holmgren as a, as a mayor. <laughs> And uh, Steve, Steve, thank you. Um, you know, all the years that you've been with the, with the organization, but the years that you continue to honor dad with your stories, with your love and respect, um, it's, it's something special. And, and we always have that moment in the seventh game of the World Series. The, the whole city of Pittsburgh, you carry it with uh, your arm, your heart, uh, and that jump at the end, the whole city was with you. So thank you. <laughs> you know, our father's legacy transcends the baseball field. His dedication to excellence, compassion for others, and a wavering commitment. <coughs> so, excuse me. <coughs> to serving his community and nation, continue to inspire us all. The road designation in his honor is a testament of his remarkable life and lasting impact he has had on Manatee County and beyond. Coming to Bradenton was a special place for him. See, prior to coming here, he had to get an old station wagon with his minority teammates and travel beside the team because of segregation. They could not stay in the same hotel. So when 1969 arrived, Pirate City was born. That was a safe place. This was a safe place for him and his teammates. A place where they could thrive, envisioning, envisioning winning championships together as a family. Manatee County is a very special place for the Clemente family, for me personally. I was able to come to Manatee Junior College in 1984, and I was the first person to stay in our father's room ever since he stayed there. This is a special place for us. We thank you, today being the 21st day of the month, we receive many, many messages every month, I do, where people are celebrating this day every month with an act of kindness for someone else because of how he lived his life. I hope that when you drive on this road, at least you remember that number, the name, and we can celebrate by being kind to each other and doing something for each other. And we will have a better place to live. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. It is a great, great honor to be here in Bradenton at Pirate City today for this special occasion. I must say, for me personally, I actually got to sign with the Pirates back in 85. And I remember sitting in a picnic table with Barry Bonds talking about our future. And I remember him saying, you know, in a high pitch, you know, my daddy this, your daddy that, now it's our, now it's our chance and our turn. And I said, definitely, we were both so thin. I was only 28 inch waistline. <laughs> Uh, every time I have a chance, I have to say it. And I remember walking into this lobby and having Woody Heike greet me. And immediately before I even put a pirate uniform on as a professional ball player, changed my position 
to second base, which I never ever played in my life. And it was so many that, that you know, I learned and shape as a grown up, you know, growing up, youngster still, but, but as a grown up, I reminisce and I think back of what this street now, officially Roberto Clemente Memorial Way, how many times I walked on this street all the way to the gas station. How many times trying to figure out and thinking what was the best thing for me to do? What was truly, what was my future? What was my destiny? Walking back and forth this road, I had a chance to truly think about and, and make up my mind on key, key issues that would mark the rest of my life and future. And I realized that by not actually playing and continuing my life as a ball player, I would continue to work on my father's legacy and understanding how mom had quite an integral role in having that still so relevant today. I, you don't understand how deeply moved I am today because now, where we live in Puerto Rico, where we have our home, is the Roberto Clemente Street. It can be more fitting, Pirate City, his other home, to have also Roberto Clemente name on this road. So thank you so much, everyone who got behind this, the Pirates always, for keeping us part of the family. And um, Manatee, you know, you have a very special place in our hearts. Thanks and God bless everyone. Thank you both, and thank you for being here representing your father's legacy. It means so much to everybody.